So with their second pick in the uh, third round, uh, Minnesota did select linebacker Chaz Surratt. Now he's a converted quarterback, which is pretty rare for a linebacker. Now he is athletic. He's 6'2", 229, ran a 4'5", 940, a 7.033 cone, and had a 4.18 shuttle time. So as a linebacker, those are pretty good numbers. And so really good athlete. Um, he does need to get more technical, especially in the run game. But that is to be expected from a former quarterback. So he can get caught on blocks and is kind of a liability in the run game. However, he has natural athleticism and his experience at quarterback kind of helps him in the coverage department because he can recognize some of the uh, route combinations and things of that nature. And he seems to have a natural feel for the position, which is good. Um, But this is a potential kind of like busting out prospect, I think. Mostly because we're talking about a converted quarterback to linebacker. That's a little weird. But he can also kind of do some uh, blitzing things. That's kind of one of the odd traits that he has. He's physical. He will come downhill and he'll hit people and he'll be able to come on blitzes. He's very similar to Eric Wilson to me. And that's where this kind of goes a little haywire to me. Because essentially they signed Nick Vigil, who is a special teamer and a coverage linebacker and not very good in the run game and can't really shed blocks. Kind of sounds like a budget Eric Wilson. And then you draft Chaz Surratt in the third round, 78th overall. And now all of a sudden, he sounds the same. So if you wanted Eric Wilson, it almost makes more sense to pay Eric Wilson the $3 million he signed to go to Philly and not deal with replacing him with two players. And considering you already had Troy die on the roster, I don't don't think this pick is the best pick they could have made. Um, It could work out. Um, This is a possible potential bar replacement for after this year as his contract ends up, you know, expiring due to their restructuring work of it because they kind of made the years void. So that is now a thing. So I don't think he's really going to help the defense much in 2021. Could potentially replace the um, bar in 2022. But for this year, Chaz Surratt, I think, would look to be mainly a special teamer, assuming he's active because he may not be active even with this because I don't know how many linebackers you need active, but I would assume this could also mean uh, Cameron Smith is not going to make the team, Um, which is, I know some people might kind of be disappointed by that because they like feel good stories and he had like a heart condition and he got surgery last year and then they kind of brought him back, but there's a chance he doesn't come back now, I think, after you did sign Vigil, you did draft Die, you still have Barr, you still have Kendricks. So, um, he's another talented linebacker, should create competition, not really sure how good or not good he will be just because of the conversion from quarterback and not playing much linebacker, but he's a very interesting prospect that has natural instincts for the position, it looks like, and can actually read coverage and things. So, he's in very much a new age linebacker. It's just the question of can you teach him enough things fast enough to warrant the fact that you picked him in the third round. I just don't know about that. And I would like to know your guys' comments on Surratt down below. Um, Like and subscribe. Super helpful if you do. And until next time, I bid you all adieu.